What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we are covering off stems on this guy here. This is the DDJ FLX4. Yes, you can get stems on this controller. If you have not checked out any of my previous videos, you will know that I absolutely love this controller as an entry level device, and I've made several videos about it. There is a dedicated playlist on the channel if you are interested. Now I'm focusing specifically today on stems in record box combined with the FLX4. Now, before you get at me in the comments, I know that stems in record box does get a bit of criticism. It's not as good in terms of sound quality in comparison with Serato. However, I still think it's a nice to have feature considering you do not need to pay for this feature as we will see in a moment when I jump on Recordbox. This is available as part of your hardware unlock device free plan on Recordbox. So I think it is a pretty cool feature. And as technology evolves, of course, features do evolve, features get better over time, and I'm sure that the sound quality of stems will get better over time. But first and foremost, let's jump onto Recordbox and I'll show you how to get stems onto your Recordbox software. So if you have never used stems before on Recordbox, you will need to activate it. To do this, simply come to the preferences menu, click down the bottom to extensions and click enable stems. Now, if you haven't used stems before, it will do a little bit of a download procedure as you can see on screen here, um, just to download the extension onto your machine. But once you have done this, it is pretty much ready to go. So now that we have downloaded stems onto our laptop and also enabled it within Recordbox, you'll notice that you get now these three extra buttons on the Recordbox interface just above the virtual deck. So we have the drums, the vocal and instrumental. These can be just activated using your mouse. So you can make live mashups, you can do really creative things with stems. So I'll just show you a quick demonstration and then we're gonna take it one step further and I'll show you how to actually map the stems buttons onto your FLX4. You make me go loco, baby, yeah. So that's the full track. Yeah, crazy, yeah, that shit makes me crazy, yeah. Just isolated the vocal there, so it's almost like an a cappella. Yeah, yeah, Brought in the more percussive elements, but still no drums. And then just brought in the drums, so full track again. Yeah, baby, Isolated just the drums, so taking out the vocal and instrumental parts. So you can have a lot of fun with stems. However, of course, using it on your laptop with just your keyboard and your mouse is not going to be very quick. Obviously, the buttons on the Recordbox interface are pretty small, and so it's not going to be the most convenient, especially if you want to do live mashups, you want everything at your fingertips. So what I'm gonna do now is take this one step further and show you how you can actually map those three stems onto your controller, because of course the FLX4 does not have built-in stems buttons. So let me show you how to do that. What you want to do in your record box interface is open up the MIDI tab. It's a couple of buttons across from the preferences and also the, uh, the plan information. So open up that MIDI tab. Now what you're going to want to do is first of all, assign um, stems to deck one and deck two. Come to the deck section first and foremost. And then what you're gonna to want to do is click on this add function and then stems is right at the bottom. Now there are a lot of different options here, but we just want the three main stems. So we can go to the instrumental, so we've added that, add the vocal, and then also add the drums. Now you are going to need to repeat this for the number of decks that you have got. So two decks as the FLX4 is for this example, or if you've got a four deck controller, then you're gonna to need to add this four times. So we're gonna just add those again for the second deck. So instrumental, vocal, and drums. Okay, there we go. Now, the critical piece here is that you will need to change that to deck number two on those second three. There we go. So we've got that there. Now, the other thing that you want to do is add this to the effects tab as well, because this is the, uh, the beat effects isolation. So you literally follow that same process, add stems. 
you get a lot more options here. But for this example, we're just gonna add the three main stems. So that is all done. So we're now pretty much ready to go. So that is stage one complete. Now, if we jump across to the controller, of course, we don't have stems built into this controller in terms of individual pre-mapped buttons. And all of the other buttons on this controller are pre-assigned to different functions. So a compromise is going to have to be made here. You're going to have to decide what button you want or what function you're going to want to replace with stems. Now, for me personally, the, the buttons that I use the least or the function that I use the least is this key shift um, feature on the pad effects. So to activate that, you usually have to go um, to shift and then press key shift, but I'm gonna replace key shift with stems so that stems will be at my fingertips. So with key shift active, because we, we've identified that we want to get rid of this function and replace it with stems, we now need to find out where uh, things are mapped to basically. So what you wanna do is back in the MIDI mode of Rekordbox, hit learn, and then press the button that you want to basically swap out for a stem. So we can see that the top left pad is already assigned. This is the MIDI code. So we can see it's pad, key shift, pad one, okay? And then you can do that for all the three pads. So I want the top three pads from left to right to be replaced with stems. So if we click the learn again, then we can see it's key shift pad two, and it will be found in the pad menu. And it's the same for the third um, the third button. So what you're then going to want to do is come over to pad mode because we know from that MIDI mapping that that is where this is. You want to find key shift pad, pad one. So that's there. Okay, now make sure that you are deleting the right thing. So just triple check this. You want to make sure you are doing this right. Okay, you want to effectively delete that. Okay, so it will ask you if you really want to delete it. So you're gonna delete that. You're gonna delete pad two because that's the second MIDI mode. So you want to delete this for both decks as well, by the way. So key shift pad one. There we go. And you can see what deck it's assigned to just from the drop down there. So we want to just delete that there. Do the same for pad two and three. So pad two, delete. There we go. Uh, pad two, delete. And then also pad three. So that basically frees up the um, the pads now, they don't have functions. Now that that's all done, the final piece of the puzzle is to basically reassign those buttons to stems. Now, of course, I have selected the key shift performance pads. However, you can choose whatever pads or buttons you want to on your controller. Just think of the function that you use the least or the functions that you use the least and consider swapping those over. So all we need to do now is click learn, come back over to the deck section where we added um, stems and then click performance pad one. That is now got a MIDI code assigned next to it. Vocal in the middle on deck one. So then all we do is we click learn again and we go there, we've got a MIDI code there assigned. And then finally, the instrumental, there we go. Okay, for deck two, it's literally exactly the same. So we click learn and then assign there. Vocal in the middle, there we go. And instrumental, deck three. You're now ready to use stems at the touch of a button on your controller. So let me show you how this works in action and then we'll finish the video. So finally then let's show you this in action. So we've got our sampler or sorry, the key shift function which is under the sampler active. And of course we've got our three map buttons on each side. So let's pl press play on the track. You make me go loco, baby, yeah, that shit makes me crazy. Yeah. And on the other side, 
makes me crazy, yeah, that shit makes me crazy, yeah, that shit makes me You make me go loco, baby Makes me crazy, yeah, that shit makes me so there we have it, how to set up stems on Rekordbox. Of course, we went through first and foremost how to do it on the computer interface and then uh, showed you how to assign different buttons on your FLX4 controller. So it is just proof that you do not need a really expensive controller with dedicated stems button in order to achieve the same effect. I'm pretty sure in 99% of cases, there is going to be some kind of feature or some kind of function on your controller that you're probably not using that much and therefore you could utilize it in a better way for something like stems. Of course, you can remap your whole controller to do what you want if it is not set up in the way that you want it to be set up. So this is just an example of how to do stems, but you could use that same process of MIDI mapping to completely change the functionality of your controller and change what those buttons do. I hope you found this video useful. Please do give me a thumbs up if it was of use to you. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll catch you in the next one.